Do Mel, <laughs> do Mel right there on crash if she, if she wanted to. I would be gutted to walk out of here on Friday night. These were frightened, frightened, send in SOS. <laughs> <laughs> Day 27 in the Big Brother house. Thomas and Nicholas are up first. I'm going home after my time. You want to go, don't you? Huh? You want to go, don't you? No, I don't. Well, I'll stop singing morbid songs then. I just want to keep Kaggy's hooks up. Hmm? I just want to keep Caroline's hooks up. Where are you going? I'm not going home. Right? Do you hear that? British public, I am not going home. <sighs> Craig soon joins Thomas and Nicholas, and while the girls sleep, they talk about them. Would you sleep with Nicky? Did I what? Did you sleep with Nicky? I sleep with Nicky. Mm. Mm. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Do you? No. It's a nice body, but it's just choking to a gob. <laughs> <laughs> it's very well oiled. Pissed. Uh. Do Mel. <laughs> Do Mel right there on the crash. <laughs> She wants to. <laughs> yeah, she's the sweetest of the bunch. Yeah. You got a little hot spot for Mel, haven't you? I enjoy your company. Me. What? Yeah. I enjoy your company. Yeah. She's vivacious. She's what? Vivacious, vivacious. I think is the word. She's also lush. Yeah. <laughs> what's the what? Lush. Mad as Fresh. A lush. Lush. And she's got a very fiery temperament, which I find very... Yeah, amazing. like Tomo. Why is it you think that the public is voting them um, thing go to stay in, like? Probably because she's outrageous. She's fucking mad. She's making a fool of herself, isn't she? Do you think? She's the entertainment. Mm. Yeah, but so it's just, it's just, I just wish that she would have kept singing that fucking song. <laughs> just two lines in it. What's that? Me if it's up cracking my arse? No, oh, that's only a game show. <laughs> She's an old schlapper. <laughs> Nicola and Anna have discovered Melanie has been keeping some of Big Brother's batteries. Look! Stasha. Stasha batteries. Yeah. Well, she's got one, two. She's got four batteries here. This is a kleptomaniac. <laughs> Come on. I should pass the back. I don't understand why she's stealing the batteries. I think it's just for the attention of it. If I showed them to the camera. <laughs> Everton. Because <laughs> she wants to be a naughty girl, you see. We've worked this out. You might know that she's stealing the batteries, actually, but... I mean, they must have seen him. They must have seen him. Stash it. Batteries were frightened, frightened, send in SOS. <laughs> Every day, the Big Brother participants have to change their microphone batteries. Today, Nicholas does it for the group. It's... He's a treacherous one, Craig, as well. What? He's a treacherous one. Anyway, that's your battery change done. Can you make... Craig, can you make me one? Melanie is asked to return the battery she has kept. Hello, big brother. Hello, Melanie. Would you like me to put, me, put them in the used battery box? If you leave them on the diary room chair, please, when you leave. Before you go, yes. big brother would like to remind you that there are cameras everywhere and you cannot hide things from big brother. <laughs> oh. Caroline, you have to keep that on. You don't show to I anyone apart from, from your friend. At one o'clock, it's time for the weekly task. The group have been practicing all week how to send and receive messages using the semaphore alphabet. This is Big Brother, you need to begin this week's task. The group must work in pairs. Nicola and Nicholas, Melanie and Thomas, 
Darren and Anna, and Caroline and Craig. Each team has 15 minutes to communicate and transcribe a message given to them by Big Brother in total silence with no mistakes. They're writing down their own horoscopes taken from today's Sun newspaper. Craig has told Big Brother he's dyslexic and has been given special permission to write the alphabet on top of his board. This is Big Brother, you have 30 seconds left. This is Big Brother, your time is up. Please stop signaling. Receivers, place your boards face down on the grass in front of you. To prevent any communication, the signalers are sent to the girls' bedroom while their teammates are tested in the diary room. Thomas's message from Melanie is his own horoscope. He's okay. a Gemini. As Venus settles into your home zone, you can talk about moving in together or work at home on that product others will want to buy. Thomas and Mel have passed. Mine was, total, mine was total fucking gibberish. So was mine. So coat the truth with lots of facts. It's like, quote, they're going to think... Lots she, of facts? Lots of facts, yeah. <laughs> so she knows that I'm thinking, it's not tax, it's facts. And she might put an F. Yeah. And they might put, quote, the truth. Yeah. Darren sent Anna's horoscope. She's a Libran. It's important to measure your words with the greatest care when a friend asks for your opinion. So coat the truth with lots of tact. Theirs is correct. Well, how far did you get? I just got to... Three letters. I had three, three letters. Words. Three words. I had three letters today. So wealthy, he might have got that. He would have got that. Nicholas signalled Nicholas's star sign, Scorpio. Uh, love and money are mixing together today, which can mean, which can mean sharing a cash prize with a partner or if you're single, meeting someone, and that's all I got to. Their message is incomplete. Yeah. And then that 30 seconds was like five this seconds. Brother, would Craig please bring his board to the dining room? I'd love to see his board, I swear to God. Craig, who goes last, is a Libran. A healing moon mails it easy to let Gruen says go in the family. The dream spinner planet promises some unusual this is big brother you have failed miserably yes your weekly Unlucky. budget for next week will be 17p <laughs> you, yeah. good luck you owe us 44 pounds yeah <laughs> you should take it out the following week this is big brother Unfortunately, you have failed <gasps> this week's task. No, no way! No, 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 order. No, no, way. no way! No way! No way! No way! Replayed. One team transcribed two words incorrectly and did not complete the message. And another team did not complete the message. Go on. Oh, no, that's Doesn't helpful. matter. Your weekly budget for next week, brother. <laughs> next week's shopping budget will now be forty-seven pounds. <laughs> Had they succeeded, they would have almost a hundred pounds for next week's shopping. Now they've only got 47 pounds. That's less than seven pounds per person for food for the whole week. Yeah, a bit of spring cleaning going on. Okay. We, we want got spring cleaning. It's not spring cleaning. It's halfway cleaning. We're halfway through. We're right, cleaning. MS. Rather than dwell on their failure in the task, the group decide to do something practical and clean the house. Actually. I just thought of something. Roll this up. We can use this for the tie box. Watch. Roll it up on the floor. Okay. And there, there, there. It's wet. It's wet. Yeah, actually, it's not, it's not too wet. not too bad. This, watch. We can use it as, not a punch bag, but a kick. You hold that there and hold it against your side like that. Yeah. So it doesn't... No, no, you that. can't do that. No. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Go on, Be, go. With a stick. Come on, let's go. get over this. Come on, I want to be... Come on, use it, is it not? 
No, it's still, it's still not, um... Not but... much cushion in it. I've done a survey, right, at my workplace. You I can't wait for this. I think. can't wait for this. And it's true. All heterosexual women. It's all, all true, because he's done a survey. Go on. Think about sleeping with another woman. That's absolute, absolute crap, bollocks. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. Have you ever thought about sleeping with another woman? Yes. Right. There you go. So, oh, and therefore the theory is proved. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Have of you? course. I, I Have thought about sleeping with another woman? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. But you know what? Yeah. You know right. what? Now, can Kage, I ask another no, no, question? Hold on. Kagi and I represent the whole of the female population. No, no, no. We Anna, speak for yeah, everyone. Let's ask Anna. Anna stays out of it. Who, if you had to sleep with one of us, one of the Big Brother people, would it be? The ones in the house? Yeah. Who you starting with, Anna? I'll start with Darren. OK. If I was to sleep with one of the ten people in this house... There's only eight, there's only nine. ...it would be Sada. Oh, oh. oh Sada. And why? And why? She's, she's amazingly here. flexible, the amazing flexi woman. The yoga was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to sleep... Yeah, I'll one wanna, only. I want to sleep with two of you. <laughs> Come on, Craggy, in your own time. Yeah, it would be two for me as well. Because yeah. I'm having a big brother experience, and I did put down, I'd like to try something new. I'd <laughs> Anna and Nikki. Oh! Told you about my survey, didn't I, Mill? <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Yeah, yeah. Caroline, you're not going to get anything. You're going to need the boys. What are you talking about? You've got to do the boys. <laughs> if I was after a bit of Willie Darren, I'd go on yours. <laughs> <laughs> It was this bloke who every day stretched it because oh, he wanted it bigger. Thomas talks to Nicholas about his nomination. Yeah, you got a, you got a 50-50 chance. But you can turn that in your favour by going to die room and saying what you feel, appeal to people. If I was, you know, if you were watching you, what would you do? Or if you're watching a guy in it, what would you do? What would he have to say for you to go, actually, that sounds a really nice guy? Uh, I think I'll just go and blab to them for an hour. Mm. Jesus, go and talk to them for an hour. Don't, 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 don't go in straight away. Don't go in, just think about what you're going to say. Over the next half an hour, if you rush him now, you'll say something that you immediately regret. Go to your room, lie down, think about what you're going to say. And if you want to say it to me first, then, then fine. If not, go into the room, but give yourself a deep breath and then either come to me, I can listen to what you say, then, then go into there and deliver it with, um, uh, with you know, verbal coordination and, uh, and thought. Yeah, I'll think about it. Thank you for your advice. No problem. Cheers. Pleasure. Fifteen minutes later, Thomas decides to come to the diary room. Uh, I think my attitude yesterday was my normal attitude. An immediate response of, don't care. That's happened, so what? I would just like to say that thinking on it, to make that change in my life, I need to stand up for myself. And the emotions I'm going through today are that I would be gutted to walk out of here on Friday night. It would be a setback after the time I've spent preparing for this. Uh, the age I've reached in my life of 31 and not having made a, a proper decision on my life. Uh, this, my experience so far, has given me the confidence to go out into the world and to stand up for myself. My response yesterday, however, was a setback and that I reverted back to my old ways. Uh, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to change. I want to be a better person. 
having spent four weeks here, I, th I feel I'm a better person for it already. And that I would be gutted to leave here on Friday night. Immediately afterwards, Thomas goes to the bathroom. Mella spent little time with the girls today. She and the boys play ball games in the garden. Mella will drop stairs. There we are. Typical. Which obviously. There we are. Oh, shit. There you drop that. There we are. Yeah. Bet you can't move it. If you're going to play, you play right. Where was that thing? Who was that thing? To you. Did you see me in the mirror or something over there? What way are you looking? If you don't catch this ball now, Let's you will be them. rushed and beat me. OK. <laughs> oh, you are so lucky. You will be beaten. Go, 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 go! Not too much. That's perverse. <laughs> uh, I don't want the, I don't want this too hot anyway, so I'm just gonna leave it to cool down. With provisions running low, Darren turns eggs and oats into biscuits. Is that nice to eat now? Yeah, and you can smell no it's got it's raw egg in it. That's alright. That's salmonella. Nice. E. coli, stay away. <laughs> Alert. <laughs> Not that one, sure. <laughs> Mouse? Are you laughing at Rude Boy? Pick up five. Pick up five. Now. See, I want to check on my biscuits, but I'm afraid you're going to cheat. So I'm just going to let them burn. You're judged by your own standard. I know you're going to cheat. Mel, can you check my biscuits? Yeah, I'm going to check your biscuits. Turn it off. 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 Turn Last charge. Yeah, good for you. That's fair now. Good day for washing, drying clothes on if you're the land. This time have to pick up two. Pick up. Where did you get that from? Hmm? The two jokers, the two blackjacks were at the bottom. Where did you get that from? I had it. No, you did not. I the did. two black jacks were at the bottom. Me and him put them down to get you, and that was him. Where did you get? There were four and a How pack. did you get a blackjack? Where's the other blackjack? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> shit! <laughs> As sun sets on the Big Brother house, the group talk about music. He's got a good voice, yeah. yeah He's a talented man. Very, very talented, talented man. Yeah. Uh, George Michael. Did you see when he was interviewed on Ask Ash Sports or something like that? Yeah. And he said... It's hey, hilarious. I thought it was brilliant. Is it the, when they were, you know, when he just got caught or was supposed to be set up, whatever, like, wanking in the toilet. He said, I, I even consult my solicitor now before I masturbate. Yeah. You know, he's funny. Like, he's really funny. Everyone's trying to have sex in toilets. The thrill of yeah. maybe getting caught. The actual toilet he was in was a disgusting, manky, shitty toilet. If it was a sort of toilet at, you know, a nice hotel toilet, it's fine, but that's a disgusting... Over public toilet that it's used by okay. tramps and Anna, drug addicts. It's disgusting. Mate, if you said to me, Nudist. where's the most nice place to make love to the public be a beach, you won't be in a public loo. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't mean <laughs> in a toilet. In a toilet, toilet yeah. Difference. Yeah, but if George Michael is there and the little kid comes in and sees it, or George Michael actually you're proposition. the beach, you're going to Or propositions the kid. Or propositions. Ah, oh, that's oh, where no. you're. No, no. No, come on. That is where that you're taking it. Yeah. That's where I get really, really angry. Is when he says he propositions the kid. What is that? What is it? That is what I get so He's not angry. a paedophile. He's gay. He's, gay. He's, He's not a paedophile. They don't... It's not the same thing. It's not totally no, separate. No, that really makes me so but he was angry. Totally he was gay. Gaming. He's not a paedophile. Well, he wasn't a was saying if. This is not the saying he did. We're saying if. Why did you go straight from... Why did you go We're talking child. a gay issue to being paedophile. Why? You actually, took, you actually took the level too far. You're actually something that actually that wasn't there. 
What if the child was down there and he saw the positioning pe between two men? Yeah. The child be affected. I think what's happened is everyone's going to go, whoa, jump the gun. I don't, I got into a, a total panic. That's not what you that's said. That's not though. what you said. That isn't that's what you said. What you, what you said. said was what if he propositioned the, the child. child. And that's not going to happen. That's much. I, I'm as likely to do it as Anna is, as you are, as Darren is, as any of us in here are likely to do it. Okay, but that, 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 was, that, wasn't, that wasn't the intended, uh, intended okay, statement. You need to be careful with the words that you use then, because that, that makes is a really dangerous people area. Very, people are very, yeah. very it's angry. Very when people so. connect homosexuals with paedophiles, right, especially right, 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 gay right. men. What if a child came across two men propositioning each other the same way as what if a child came across two straight people propositioning each other? Why is that worse? Why is that worse than that? It's not. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Thomas, who usually stays up with the group, goes to bed early. He might even that. Did you women watch that thing about? Um, Women on Channel 4 showing their breasts for the first time. Oh, God, yeah. Did you watch that? Mm. All women showed their breasts. Yeah, I saw the one about penises. Men showing their dick penises. That was fascinating, just men talking about it. And there was this bloke who every day stretched it because he oh wanted God, it bigger. Yeah. And every day, yeah, and he says it makes a difference. If you pulled on it around, I don't know how many times. But he did it for around 20, 10 so how long minutes a day. Well, it was longer than what it... Why did you do it before and after? No, he just oh. had it, but he said it was longer. But and he exercised, same way he exercised, but he was really built up muscly, and he considered that to be part of his body as well, which he wanted to build up. So just he'd tugged. pull it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there was a tiny one on it as well, a tiny penis on it. On that thing? On the programme, yeah. Just a little nipple. So how, how do you think men feel about small penises, Taryn? Do you think it really affects them? I, I, when you just said that, I thought, oh, that's sad. Mm. Like, if, for instance, someone had a small penis, you don't... Why feel sad? Because you're not going to take it out and show, like, a group of people. You don't have to do that. Just your bed. Just, <laughs> just a girl that's got to get some enjoyment for it. It's quite sad, I think. I don't think they have to... You have to be embarrassed if you've got a small penis. No. Neither do I. Why? What do you think, Darren? Are you embarrassed? What? Okay. Why would you like? The, this bloke who did have a very small one, he was just. He hated it. Well, if it he was, hated if it. If it was just a knob on balls, then you probably would. If it was, <laughs> yeah, really then you tiny. probably would be a bit. <laughs> a knob on balls. <laughs> then you probably would be a bit. <laughs> I'm not even laughing because there's loads of men out there with knobs on balls. It's 2.30 in the morning and Caroline can't sleep. She's been nominated for the third week running. On Friday, either she or Thomas will have to leave the house. Side. To vote Caroline out, call 09011-980-101. To vote Thomas out, call 09011-980-102. Call 902 calls cost 10 pence.